Hi, this is Professor Fernandez. We're working on class note C in lesson nine. In this example, we want to find the minors and the cofactors of this matrix A. Let me scroll up a little bit to remind you of what those are. So here's the definition that tells us what the minors and the cofactors are. The uh, motivation for this definition is as a stepping stone to the general definition of a determinant. Up to now in the lesson notes, we've seen the determinant of a two by two matrix. You can see at the top of the page here, the definition for the determinant of a three by three matrix. Um, but for general matrices, and then just wondering about why does this have the form it has, we really need some um, more general definition. And that is going to come a little bit later in the notes based off of the work we do with cofactors and minors. Okay, so what is a, a minor? Um, so, it, it, uh, it, in this definition, right, if we read here, I have an n by n matrix, and I'm going to denote by mij the matrix obtained by deleting the ith row and the jth column. Okay, let me just give you a quick example there. So, what if I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9? Okay, let's say that's my matrix A. What would be m23? So this would be the matrix obtained by deleting the second row and the third column. So I'm going to go in here and get rid of the second row, get rid of the third column, and then write out the matrix that results. One, two, seven, eight. You'll notice that this is a two by two matrix. This is a three by three matrix. So that explains this part, the n minus one by n minus one, right? You had an original matrix of size n by n. Now it has one fewer row and one fewer column. So that's exactly why, because we delete a row and we delete a column. So that's MIJ. And then the definition continues. The determinant of this matrix is the IJth minor. Okay. So if I were here and I were doing determinant of the M23 matrix I obtained, I would multiply 1 and 8. I would subtract 7 and 2, 14. And again, I'm using here the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix definition that we discussed in an earlier video. And then I would um, continue here to get negative six. So this would be the minor, the, the two, three minor of, of A. And I want to encourage you to, to think of this, since we're talking about matrices, as the two, three minor, right? Don't call it the 23 minor, um, because two, three refers to the second row and third column. And we want to keep that information um, intact. Uh, and then what is the cofactor? The cofactor, notice from this equation, the definition of it, is just the determinant possibly with the sign changed, okay? So if I wanted to find the two, three cofactor, it would be negative one to the two plus three. This is where it helps to think of this as two, three, not 23, because this is important for that part of the calculation. Um, anyway, negative one to the two plus three times the minor. Okay, so negative one to the fifth uh, is negative one. And then the uh, determinant that we had calculated was negative six. So we get six, okay? So again, the cofactor, all it ever does is possibly change the sign, S-I-G-N, of the minor, um, not the uh, actual numerical quantity. All right, so I'm gonna scroll down now that we've reviewed all of that uh, and find these minors and cofactors for this matrix. So let's talk first about um, M11. So that's the matrix obtained by deleting the first row, first column from the matrix A. And I'm left with minus one, minus three, minus five, zero. Great, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just call this A. And now I wanna find um, the minor. So uh, from here, I'm gonna take the determinant of this matrix. So determinant of negative one, negative three, negative five, zero. Right, so I multiply the diagonals, I get zero. Minus multiply what, what's called the off diagonals, I get negative three times negative five, that's 15. Zero minus 15 is negative 15, great. And then I wanna find the C11 cofactor. So C11 is negative one raised to the one plus one times the determinant of the M11 matrix, the minor. Okay, so I get negative one squared, that's one, times the determinant of M11, and that was negative 15, so that gives me negative 15. Okay, so this is my minor, this is my cofactor. And then I'll go down and do the same thing for 
um, M12. That's the last part of this example, M12. So I'm going to go up here to the matrix A. If I'm finding the M12 matrix, I'm deleting the first row and the second column. So what matrix am I left with? Reading it off, it's 0, minus 3, negative 4, 0. Great. And I find the determinant now of this matrix. That will be the, the uh, 1, 2, minor. Oops, too many, too many vertical lines there. So uh, determinant 0, negative 3, negative 4, 0. So multiply the diagonals, that's 0. Minus, multiply the off diagonals. Negative 4 times negative 3 is 12. Okay, so this gives me negative 12. Great, so that's that minor. Um, and then to find the cofactor, I'm finding the 1, 2 cofactor. So negative 1 to the 1 plus 2 times the minor. So negative 1 cubed, that's negative 1, times the 1, 2 minor, which was negative 12. So negative 1 times negative 12 is a 12. Okay. So that's it. So this example was just about finding minors and cofactors, getting comfortable with the terminology, figuring out you know, how to construct the MIJ matrix. Um, in the next video and, and the rest of the lesson, you will see how these minors and cofactors uh, come into play when we are calculating determinants.